This is the third tutorial in the series on dialog UIs in the dialog system. In this tutorial, we'll set up animated portraits. The final result will look like this. Notice that the characters blink when idle and their mouths move when talking. This tutorial was created using this commercial art asset. However, we're only using it to show the process. You can use your own art instead. The dialog UI itself is just a copy of the VN template standard dialog UI where I've swapped in the textures from the art asset. You don't have to use the VN template. You can use whatever dialog UI you want, either customizing one of the prefabs that ship with the dialog system, or making your own from scratch. In any case, make sure the subtitle panel has a portrait image game object. Add an animator component to the portrait image. Your portrait image can be a single image component or it can be a hierarchy of images as in this example, where we have child images for eyes, ears, mouth, and hair. Next, for each character, create an animator controller that will animate this portrait image. For the character Emmy, I've created this animator controller. I'll temporarily assign it to the portrait image so that you can see what it contains. You can see that it has two animations, idle and talk. They animate the sprites assigned to the child images. This is idle. I made the animations right here in the animation window by assigning different sprites at various keyframes. This is talk. The animator controller itself has two states, idle and talk. Note that the portrait image's animator controller is different from any animator controller that you might have on the subtitle panel itself. On that subtitle panel, make sure the portrait image is assigned to the portrait image field. We can unassign the animator controller from the portrait image. Also check on the subtitle panel that the Use Animated Portraits checkbox is still ticked. It should be ticked by default, but just make sure it didn't get accidentally unticked. Next, inspect your character's game object. If your character doesn't have a game object, you can create an empty one. Add a dialogue actor component. Set the actor dropdown and assign the character's portrait animator controller. Then do the same for the other characters. You can see that this conversation involves three actors. Finally, inspect the Dialog Manager game object. In the Default Sequence field, use the Animator Play command to play animations on the portrait image. The special keyword Speaker Portrait, all one word, refers to the portrait image of the current speaker's subtitle panel. If you want to play an animation on the listener's portrait image, use the keyword Listener Portrait. The first command plays the talk state. The second command is set to required to ensure it runs even if the player skips ahead. It plays the idle animation at the duration determined by text length. You can also use other sequencer commands such as animator trigger, animator bool, etc. And this is what it looks like. If you want the character to stop talking as soon as the typewriter finishes, change end to at message typed, which is the message sent by the typewriter when it's done.
If you want to play specific animations on a certain dialogue entry, you can override the default sequence by putting animator play and other sequencer commands directly in that dialogue entry sequence field. Now when we play, notice that the talking stops as soon as the typewriter stops. And that's it for Animated Portraits. Thanks for watching.